Hello friends, uh, welcome to Learners Planet. Our friends, this is our second session for the topic straight line. In the previous session, we discussed uh, the different forms of straight line. Uh, we discussed point slope form, one point form, two point form. In this session, we are going to discuss some more forms of straight line. Okay, so let's begin the session. Now, next, we have the parametric form of line. The equation of line passes through a given point P, x1, y1 and makes a given angle theta with the positive direction of x-axis is given by x minus x1 by cos theta is equal to y minus y1 by sin theta and that is assumed to be R, right? Now, this is the line we are talking about, okay? And here, the line is passing from the point P that is x1, y1. Okay, and the Q is the any point on the line that is x, y, right? Now, this is the angle that this line makes with the x axis, right? This angle is theta and this line is parallel to this line. That means this angle will also be theta. We have discussed this thing so many times, okay? So, this angle is theta. This will also be uh, theta, right? Now, what is tan theta? Tan theta is what? Perpendicular by base. So, perpendicular is y minus y1 and base is x minus x1. Okay, or uh, tan theta can be written as sin theta by cos theta. So, y minus y1 by sin theta is equal to x minus x1 by cos theta. Okay, now See this important thing, R is the distance between these two points. Basically, distance between two, two points is given by, uh, that's R square is equal to X minus X1 whole square plus Y1 minus Y1 whole square. Right? So, if we assume this thing to be K, then X minus X1 whole square will be K square cos square theta. Right? plus y minus y1 will be uh, square will be k square sin square theta right so is it uh, r square is equal to k square that means y minus y1 upon uh, sin theta is equal to x minus x1 by cos theta is equal to r where r is the distance between these two point right so y minus y1 upon sin theta is equal to r so we can say y is equal to r sin theta plus y1 and x is equal to r cos theta plus x1 right now x y basically these are a uh, variable point and x1 y1 is the fixed point okay so now we can say x y is variable point that means any point on this line this line can be written as x1 plus r cos theta and y1 plus r sin theta okay so, for different values of R, we will be getting the different uh, points on this line, right? X, Y are variable points, X1, Y1 fixed points. So, if we put different values of R, we will be getting different points on this line, right? So, that's actually parametric form of the line. I hope you are clear. Now, next is normal form of line. The equation of a straight line upon which the length of perpendicular from the origin is P and the perpendicular makes an angle alpha with the positive direction of x axis is given by. Okay, so this is the line uh, whose equation we have to find out. And uh, the length of perpendicular from the origin, that is origin is this, this is the perpendicular. Length is given uh, as P and this perpendicular makes an angle alpha with the positive direction of x axis right and the equation of this line is x x x cos alpha plus y sin alpha is equal to p now let's find out how do we do uh, we can find out the coordinates of this point right this point uh, the y coordinate will be zero x coordinate we can find out we have this triangle i suppose this length is l now relationship between this and this this is actually perpendicular and this is hypotenuse right this angle is 90 this is alpha this must be 90 minus alpha right so perpendicular by hypotenuse sin 90 minus alpha sin 90 minus alpha is cos alpha right so cos alpha is equal to perpendicular by hypotenuse that is p by l 
सो एल इज इक्वल टू पी अपॉन कॉस एल्फा राइट सो कॉर्डिनेट्स ऑफ दिस पॉइंट आर पी बाय कॉस एल्फा एंड जीरो बिकॉज बाय कॉर्डिनेट विल बी जीरो सिमिलरली वी कैन फाइंड आउट द कॉर्डिनेट ऑफ दिस पॉइंट सो हियर एक्स कॉर्डिनेट विल बी जीरो बाय कॉर्डिनेट कैन बी फाउंड आउट दिस इज दिस इज नाइंटी डिग्री दिस विल बी नाइंटी डिग्री दिस इज एल्फा दिस विल बी नाइंटी माइनस एल्फा राइट सो रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन दिस एंड दिस राइट दिस इज वॉट I'm sorry. This and this. So this is base. This is hypotenuse, right? So cos 90 minus alpha, that is sine alpha, is equal to base by hypotenuse. So suppose this uh, oval length I assume to be m. So this is p by m, right? So m is equal to p by sine alpha. right so this length is p by sin alpha this length is p by cos alpha okay now we have already discussed the intercept form of the line so according to intercept form of the line x upon x intercept that is p by cos alpha plus y upon y intercept that is y upon p sin alpha Is equal to one. That is the intercept form. X upon intercept on x-axis plus y upon intercept on y-axis is equal to one. Right. So here, x cos alpha by p plus y sin alpha by p is equal to one, or we can say x cos alpha plus y sin alpha is equal to p. Okay. so that's very simple and you can maybe ask derivation of any form of line in your exam so be very careful about it just practice two three times because all the forms of uh, lines are very important okay now friends uh, we start solving the problems we have discussed various forms of line we have discussed various other concepts what will be the relationship between two slopes if uh, two lines are parallel intersecting or uh, we can say perpendicular to each other okay so if the two lines are perpendicular to each other product of their slopes m1 m2 will be minus 1 if the lines are parallel then m1 is equal to m2 and uh, in the third case when the lines are only intersecting neither perpendicular nor parallel then uh, there will uh, no specific relationship will be derived between the two slopes okay so let's start solving the problems first problem before us is for the lines 2x plus 5y is equal to 7 and 2x minus 5y is equal to 9 which of the following statement is true right so first of all we should be able to find out the value of slope from the given uh, equation of lines right now how do we do that see we have one form that is y is equal to mx plus c here slope is specifically seen right y is equal to mx plus c so what we do we try to convert the given equation of line into this format right initially you can convert gradually you will auto, uh, you'll be you'll be doing um, you can do it uh, without any conversion okay so first of all i take this line 2x plus 5y is equal to 7 we want y to be left hand side and remaining the, the remaining things on a right hand side So five y is equal to minus two x plus seven. So y is equal to minus two by five x plus seven by five. Right now y is equal to m x plus c. So m is what minus two by five. That means slope of this line that is m one is equal to minus two by five. Now directly how can we do that? See coefficient of y divided by coefficient of x in negative. right coefficient of y divided by coefficient of x in negative i'm sorry divide coefficient of x by coefficient of y in negative that will give us the value of the slope directly we can find out the slope from here also coefficient of x by coefficient of y in negative so negative negative will be positive so m1 is equal to minus 2 by 5 m2 is equal to 2 by 5 that means slope of this line is minus 2 by 5 slope of this line is 2 by 5 right now m1 is not equal to m2 so the lines are not parallel m1 
and m2 the product is in fact not minus 1 because it is minus 2 by 5 it is 2 by 5 so it's not reciprocal of each other so the product is not minus 1 that means the lines are even not perpendicular okay so lines are parallel wrong lines are perpendicular wrong lines are coincident that means m1 and m2 both should be same right so even it is not there so uh, light are uh, lines are coincident uh, that you might have uh, learned in your junior classes a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is equal to c1 by c2 that is ax plus by plus c1 is equal to 0 a1x b1 by c1 and a2x plus b2 by plus c2 is equal to 0 so if a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is equal to c1 by c2 then the lines are coincident okay so here none of these cases there that means the lines are intersecting I hope you are getting it now here the equation of the line passing through 4 minus 6 and makes an angle 45 degree with positive x-axis is okay so here we can use one point form in one point form what is the equation y minus y1 is equal to mx minus x1 right so we must be knowing the slope of the line and uh, one point so here one point is given as 4 and minus 6 so x1 y1 is 4 and minus 6 and slope of the line is 1045 degree m is equal to 1045 that is 1 right so directly you can put up the value in this form so y minus minus 6 that means y plus 6 is equal to m x minus 4 right and you just can simplify it uh, just take all the variables and constants on one side so x minus y is equal to 10 or we can say x minus y minus 10 is equal to 0 any of them so we have in options x minus y minus 10 is equal to 0 so that is correct okay so if you are conceptually clear you know the various forms of the line this sort of problems will be very easy for you you just have to identify the given data the given information uh, we have one point and slope of the line so we can use one point form and this is the direct uh, relation of the direct uh, uh, formula for one point form and the derivation we have already discussed okay now next in the line uh, the equation of a line whose slope is 3 and which cuts off an intercept 3 from positive uh, x-axis okay we just try to make this uh, slope is 3 right so this 10 theta or we can say m is equal to 3 okay and uh, and intercept 3 from positive x-axis so this length of intercept is 3 that means coordinate of this point will be what 3 and 0 okay now we know one point from which the line is passing through that is 3 0 and slope is 3 so we can directly use one point form right this is x1 y1 and this is m right uh, be very clear slope is given to you as 3 so this will be actually 3 because uh, we take it from positive direction of x-axis right now uh, y minus y1 so y minus 0 is equal to m x minus x1 okay so it is y is equal to 3x minus 9 or we can say 3x minus y is equal to 9 or 3x minus y is uh, plus 9 is equal to 0 or here from the options y is equal to 3x minus 9 so this one is correct okay so that's pretty simple next is the equation of a straight line passing through these two points right so here you can use two point form or what you can do you can find slope of this line and then use you can use one point form so how do we find the slope of the line that is difference between uh, ordinates by difference between abscissa so it is x1 y1 x2 
y2, right? So y2 minus y1, that is 10 minus minus 6, so it is 10 plus 6, x2 minus x1, so 3 minus minus 5, so that's 3 plus 5, 16 by 8, it is 2, right? So you got slope and you have, you can use any one uh, of the points, right? And you can use this formula y minus y1 is equal to mx minus x1, right? Now, the line is passing through x1, y1 also and x2, y2 also. So, be careful. You can take any of these points. In both the cases, you'll be getting the same equation. So, not to worry about it. We have already calculated the slope, right? So, whether you use this this point or this point, the equation of line will be same in both the cases, right? So, suppose I take a 310. So, y minus y1, that is 10. Do not get confused. x1, y1, uh, these are the points from, uh, this is the point uh, through which this line is passing, right? And he, here we are having the two points. You can use any one of them. So, y minus 10 is equal to 2x minus x1. Okay? So, y minus 10 is equal to 2x minus 6 or we can say 2x minus y is equal to or plus 4 is equal to 0. 2x minus y plus 4 is equal to 0. Now, instead of x1, y1 as 3 and 10, if you uh, had taken minus 5 and minus 6, let's see what happens. So, it is y minus uh, 6. So, it is y plus 6 minus minus 6 is equal to 2x plus 5, right? So, y plus 6 is equal to 2x plus 10. So, further 2x um, minus y plus 4 is equal to 0. So, in both the cases, you'll be getting the same answer. Okay? So, you can directly use a formula for two-point form. That is, instead of this m, you'll be doing this y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 that we calculated separately. If you wish to use two-point form, you can directly put up this uh, value of m over here and just put up the value of x1, y1, x2, y2 and you can calculate it separately as well. Okay? So friends, uh, in the next session, we'll be taking more problems, more concepts from the topic straight line. Do revise this session in the previous one. I'll see you in the next session once again. Bye-bye.